Hello students, this is Mr. Rounds in the chemistry lab at Holy Cross High School. And you know, we're doing, a, I want to do a lab that, uh, that you've done before. Always fun, it's crowd pleaser can crush. And uh, we have some, some writing up that I want to do. So I'm, just, I'm doing this because it's fun and you've done it before. And you don't have to think about it too much once you're, uh, 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 when, when we're when we're doing the write-up, which is mainly what I want you to think on at this point, okay? So as we get started here, we want to, the gas is on. I can reach the gas handle and the ashtray without going through the, uh, without reaching through the flame. Um, I'm going to make this so I have to adjust it a little bit. I can hear the gas coming out. Pretty strong flame, then I'll need to turn down a bit. Okay, hand down, flame up to the middle of the barrel, and then up. Okay, the higher the flame, the more dangerous. So we're going to tone it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're going to. So we lit the bunsen burner, and then the second thing, we're going to adjust it. I'm going to make it so I got as much oxygen coming through as possible. That sounds like it's a lot. We'll see how this goes out. Tip of the inner triangle should be the hottest part of the flame. Okay. Unburned gas before. Okay, we light and adjust the burn. And then the second thing we do is adjust the ring stand apparatus with nothing setting up on top. You see the wire gauze that I'm using is the one without the, the hot pad in it. So you want the flame to come straight through and get this can hot. Okay, now I've got you saw me put a little bit of water in the bottom of it. Set it up there. Now, since, once, since the ring stand is adjusted, now I can set the uh, burner underneath it. First, I've got both, uh, I've got beaver tongs with rubber coating on that allows for a good group grip except if you can see you can see that it does uh, it will melt it down if it's hot sun. so I've also got ones with just plain metal where I can carefully grip the hot can okay we got a little water in the bottom of it as it starts to heat up it starts to boil you should see a lot of vapor come out we're going to go for about when it's steady steaming for about 20 seconds then we're ready to go once it's steaming, it's the molecules in there are leaving. There's no molecules going in, but it's too hot. And then we see what happens, which is always fun. Always, always, always fun. And this usually goes great for it. And you have to be patient in the lab. <clears throat> um, in the lab reports that you need to do, uh, you give it a title, you can crush it. If you remember, we started this in your OneNote under the lab tab, okay? And we'll, we'll be going back to that. That's why you end up doing some work in that. <clears throat> but we give it a title, can crush, that's just clever. Uh, I think the formal thing was orange crush. It used to be a soda, I don't know if it's still sold or not. But, uh, uh, purpose. Reflection of the title. The purpose of this is to crush the can and to, we actually use it to review some safety things also. I've got the hot pad out, I've got hot gloves in case I need them, okay? and I've got the beaker tongs. And those, you notice it just started steaming. I see it going steady steam for about 20 seconds. I can hear the water boiling in there. Hear it bubbling. It's gone for about 20 seconds. And it's steady steam, not a dancing little steam coming out, but steady steam. We're getting there. I'm going to grip it with, I'm going to use these tongs because I just don't want to melt anything down. We need to grip it near the bottom third, so palm up. Near the bottom third, I get a good grip first, and then I'm going to quickly, I'm not going to hold it up in the air, I'm going to quickly shove it into, which means hold it down, face down into the water. I'm going to shove it down as far as we go. I want this cold water coming around as much as the can as we can get around it. Okay. 
that's going to cool it off even faster. Ready? Go. Cool. That is so cool. I know you wish you were here because this is just the neatest thing. You guys just need help. If you're not using the flame, turn it off. Okay. Uh, I'm just pick this up now. Okay. Because this hot, hot, hot can lost a lot of heat energy. It's barely warm right now. Barely. It lost a lot of heat energy to the water. If I have a thermometer in there, that's what I need to do. I need to stick the thermometer in there and see how much heat energy it gains. Water gains and holds a tremendous amount of heat energy. That's called the CP, specific heat capacity. That's not how much that's not how hot it can get, that's how much heat energy it can hold. Okay. Uh, like cook iron skillets and aluminum frying pans, they can get really, really hot and they pass, they can't hold the heat. It's passed on to the food and that's what cooks the food. Okay. So uh, we want that for, for utensils that we're heating with. We want the heat to get to the food. But most people don't know how it's spread. Water holds a lot of heat energy, a whole lot. So I just I spread this out a little bit to get more water out of it, and then I'm going to stick it on the drying rack in a minute so it comes out. So we can recycle that a little bit. All right. All this metal is hot still, and I showed classes before. Uh, you know how to put hot stuff away. If the bell's getting ready to ring, I want to leave a mess for the teacher. You can put some stuff away pretty quick. Actually, I'm not going to use any hot gloves. Don't worry, I need to. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hold the hot burner. Just by the rubber hose, I'm not touching any possibly hot metal. I'm putting it on a hot metal drawer. It's okay to do that. Uh, hot pad, I can put away. Uh, the wire and gauze, just hold over this, stick it in there. Uh, this whole thing, this whole ring stand and ring clamp, just go in the cabinet. I'm going to empty out the water. And I'm going to angle the thing in there to drain out overnight. I mean, it'll be dry tomorrow. I'm going to dry it off just a little bit before I put it away. Okay. Uh, hot gloves away. I use this instead. We'll put these back in the cookie jar. That's where they go in this lab. And we're going to clean up any wet spots. Then the last thing we do, especially since we're filming this, because of the virus around, I can't believe only four out of ten people, four out of ten people typically wash their hands. So make sure that we're doing that. So from here, the last thing we do in the lab, wash our hands, with soap and water before we leave. Okay, you know what chemicals are on there. That's another reason for cleaning off your desktops because it makes it safer for everyone else. Instead of looking around doing this, I see some desktops that need to be cleaned. Okay. And we got plenty of paper towels around here. So we have to skimp on those. First thing is nice and washed. And soap and water. And we are done.